Hey ladies, so as promised, um, this is actually the next day. What I did was um, I wet the hair back down and as you can see it curled right back up. Um, I didn't have to do much to it. As soon as I got a real good lather going on, the curls immediately came back. I didn't even have to put the shampoo in it and the curls were already back into it. Um, the hair feels really good. Um, it's still damp a little bit. Um, it's actually damp a lot in the back. Once the hair dries out, then it will start to get big again. Um, I don't have anything on the product, on the hair, no products on the hair at all. This is how the hair looks um, after I shampoo and condition it. So, if again you want to try straightening the hair out, um, so be it, you can. Um, if that is a style that you're going to wear because it really does have like a really natural look to it, just make sure that you use a heat protector on the hair. And don't continuously go in with the flat iron because again, you can alter the curl pattern. Um, but once or twice, you know, won't hurt it. Um, as you can see, this is how it looks. Now ladies, um, we all know that summertime is approaching and you know, we want to go to the pool and we want to, you know, go to the beach and get in the water. And I hear a lot of women say that, you know, they can't get their extensions wet. That is so not true, you can. Um, here's a little tip which you can do before you actually get into the water. Damp your hair down really good and either you can use a leave-in conditioner or you can actually make a leave-in conditioner yourself. Um, you can get one of those spray bottles from Walmart. I know they have them at the beauty supply stores and what you're going to do is you're going to fill it halfway up with regular conditioner and then fill the rest of it up with water. Shake it up, wet your hair down and spray your hair down um, with that and use it as a leave-in conditioner. And what you're doing is you're actually coating your hair so that when you do get in the pool, the chlorine in itself won't actually um, affect your hair. Um, this is also the same for the beach. Um, you want to make sure that you put something on your hair. And ladies, as soon as you come out of the water, make sure you wet your hair down. I know at the beach they have those little showers where you can actually rinse the salt water out. Use that. Make sure you rinse your hair out good and then go back in with your conditioner. Um, a lot of times you may not get a chance to go home later, so by you going in using that leave-in conditioner, um, you're actually um, helping your hair from not tangle up. And that's the same thing for when you're at the pool and you get out, try to rinse as much of the chlorine as you can out and then go back in with leave-in conditioner. Now when you do go home, make sure that you use a clarifying shampoo. Um, I know Cream of Nature has a really good clarifying shampoo. Um, and what the clarifying shampoo does is going to remove any residue, um, any buildup that's on the hair. It's going to remove it. It's going to remove the chlorine. It's also going to remove the salt water. Um, make sure you comb the hair through, um, shampoo it with the with that shampoo, and then go back in with a good moisturizing shampoo, and then recondition your hair. And actually, this time, let the conditioner sit on for about for about 15 minutes, and then rinse it out and then you know proceed with your regular style regimen so um you know memorial day weekend is is coming up too so ladies have fun get your hair wet and don't worry about anything and until next time until i do another video um you know god bless and keep the comments coming in i really really appreciate the feedback i take everything to heart um you know we take everything into consideration um, you know, leave comments and then also you guys can send me messages, um, you can, you can inbox me as well. Um, my email address is ninarossluxuryhair at gmail.com. So you guys take care. Bye.